Hello, and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Mo Yates, and I am human. You know, I often ask for more subscribers, and although I didn't make the 25 subscribers that I had hoped for, I forgot to thank those of you who do subscribe. It means a lot to me that you take the time to listen and watch this humble little show. I had hoped, and still hope, that I will be able to continue this work until we reach the end of Revelation, whenever that takes place. Sadly, I cannot predict the future. And I have recently received a letter that has caused me great concern that might mean that I might lose the time I have to create this program on a daily basis. The only thing we can do in the circumstances I am currently facing is turn to a heavenly father and seek his guidance. So I ask that now more than ever you place the daily visual bible in your prayers. It's Leviticus 6 today. So let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask, as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask, as people see and hear your word, they come to an understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus, chapter 6 He always spoke to Moses, saying, If anyone sins and acts against Yahweh, and deals falsely with his neighbour in a matter of deposit, or of bargain, or of robbery, or has oppressed his neighbour, was found that which was lost, and dealt falsely therein, and swear to lie in any of these things that man does, sinning therein, then it shall be. If he has sinned and is guilty, he shall restore that which he took by robbery, or the thing that he has gotten by oppression, or the deposit which was committed to him, or the last thing which he found, or anything about which he has sworn falsely. He shall restore it, even in full, and shall add a fifth part more to it. To whom it belongs, he shall give it. In the day of his being found guilty, he shall bring his sin offering to Yahweh, a ram without defect from the flock, according to your estimation, for sin offering to the priest. The priest shall make reconciliation for him before Yahweh, and he will be forgiven, concerning whatever he does to become guilty. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Command Aaron and his son, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. The burnt offering shall be on the earth, on the altar, all night until the morning. And the fire of the altar shall be kept burning on it. The priest shall put on his linen garments, and he shall put on his linen breeches upon his body. And he shall remove the ashes from where the fire has consumed the burnt offering on the altar. And he shall put them beside the altar. He shall take off his garments, and put on other garments, and carry the ashes outside the camp to a clean place. The fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it. It shall not go out, and the priest shall burn wood on it every morning. And he shall lay the burnt offering in order upon it, and shall burn on it the fat of the peace offerings. The fire shall be kept burning on the altar continually. It shall not go out. This is the Lord the meal offering. The sons of Aaron shall offer it before Yahweh, before the altar. He shall take from there his handful of the fine flour and the meal offering, and of its oil, and all the frankincense which is on the meal offering, and shall burn it on the altar for a pleasant aroma, as it is a memorial to Yahweh. That which is left of it, Aaron and his sons shall eat. It shall be eaten without yeast in the holy place. They shall eat it in the court of the tent of meeting. It shall not be baked with yeast. I have given it as their portion of my offerings made by fire. It is most holy, as a sin offering and as a sin offering. Every male among the children of Aaron shall eat of it, as their portion forever throughout your generations. From the offerings of Yahweh made by fire, whoever touches them shall be holy. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, This is the offering of Aaron and of his sons, which they shall offer to Yahweh in the day when he is anointed, one tenth of an ephah, of fine flour, for a meal offering perpetually, half of it in the morning and half of it in the evening. It shall be made with oil in a griddle. 
When it is soaked, you should bring it in. You shall often meal offering and bake pieces for a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. The anointed priest that will be in his place among his sons shall offer it. By remaining law, it shall be wholly burned to Yahweh. Every meal offering of a priest shall be wholly burned. It shall not be eaten. He always spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and to his sons, saying, This is the law of the sin offering. In the place where the burnt offering is killed, the sin offering shall be killed before Yahweh. It is most holy. The priest who offers it for sin shall eat it. It shall be eaten in a holy place, in the court of the tent of meeting. Whatever shall touch its flesh shall be holy. When there is any of its blood sprinkled on the garment, you shall wash that on which it was sprinkled in the holy place. But the earthen vessel in which it is boiled shall be broken. And if it is boiled in a bronze vessel, it shall be scoured and rinsed in water. Every male among the priests shall eat of it. It is most holy. No sin offering, of which any of the blood is brought into the tent of meeting, to make reconciliation in the holy place, shall be eaten. It shall be burned with fire.